Hello and welcome to module 11, uh, the second part of the subnetting, video number six, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so this is our topology. Uh, by the way, I'm not expecting you to draw the topology, so don't worry about that. Uh, so just write that notes. Everything else you write down and you submit when you're done. All right, so remember network A, network B, and the link. Network A needed 60 hosts. Network B needed 20. So let's continue. Uh, so we have this subnet. We gave it to LAN A, all right, and we filled in the chart. You remember? And now we're going to continue. Now we have the other uh, part of the network right here, the other slice. We slide up the network. So we're going to break up into this network because now we need 20 hosts. So again, let's repeat repeat the the procedure for 20 hosts. You look up the chart. What's needed for 20 hosts? Slash 27. So you go down and you write slash 27. You write that in decimal. And your next step is to find out how many subnets you're going to break down that slash 26 up here. So the way to do it is you take the slash, the new slash, which is 27, subtract the old slash. In this case, it will be 26. Remember, we bold type this because you can't use it anymore. It's been given out to land A. So minus 26 is equal to 1. And 2 to the power of 1, what's this again, is equal to 2. That means we're going to create two subnets. All right, our block size is going to be, um, you always take 256 minus the last byte of the mask, of the new mask. In this case, it's 224. And that's equal to 32. All right, so let's create our two subnets. And we start out with 192, 161. It's 160, not 168. I keep writing 160 because I'm used to it. All right, 160. So it is 192.160.10.1. And the next address is 192.160.10. You add 32 to the 192, you get 224. And both of these addresses are slash 27. Right? Slash 27. Let me bring this guy up a little bit. Go slash 27. Each slash 27 allows us to have up to 30 hosts, right? So let's get the valid addresses, host addresses. First one is going to be, we add a one to the last byte. So 192 plus one is 193. Two, get the last address, you look under the last byte. Under the one underneath the 192, you see that number 224, subtract the two, and that will be your last IP address. And this is will be given to LAN B. All right. That's it. See how easy it is. You just follow this procedure. And let's bold type it and let's put it in the chart. So the network address is 192.160.10. One ninety-two bold type address, right? That's the network address. Cannot be given to any host. Remember, the first valid address that you can be assigned is the one ninety-two dot one sixty dot ten dot one ninety-three. The last one is one ninety-two dot one sixty-eight. Oh, let's see, one sixty dot ten dot two two two, and the broadcast address is you add a one to the last byte so 222 becomes 223 and the slash it's a slash 27 that's the sub all right so for a link between a and b there's only one link so the link requires if you look at the chart the link is always going to be a slash 30 it's perfect so don't waste any ip addresses so the link requires a slash 30 Slash 30 is equal to 5.255.255.255 and a 252. All right. 30 minus, we're going to break up this slash 27. 
when t7 is equal to 3. And 2 to the power of this 3, you click on here, you write the 3, you click back again, get out of the exponent, and you're going to create 8 subnets. The block size is always starts with 256 minus the 252, and that's equal to a 4. So let's create the 8 subnets. It's 192.160.10. First one is 224. Two twenty-four. And 192.160.10. You add a 4 to 224, it'll be 228, and so on. I'm not gonna write all eight of them because I just need one of them. Slash 30. First address is gonna be add a 1 to 224, it's 225. 2 uh, 226. And that's for the link between uh, RA and RB. Okay? And I'm going to highlight that. And um, we'll type it and let's put it in the chart. All right, so this would be 192.160. Dot ten dot um dot two twenty four right one ninety uh, ninety two dot one sixty dot ten dot two twenty five one ninety two dot one sixty dot ten dot two twenty six and the broadcast is 192.160.10.227. The links are always slash 30, by the way. If you do anything else, you're wrong. Because otherwise, if you do if you do anything else, it's either you're giving too much or not enough. It's always slash 30. Because it's perfect and you don't, it's the most efficient way, and you don't waste any broadcast addresses. So how do you how would you configure these? The first IP address with the mask. So first, will you go back in here? Here's the default gateway. So here's LAN A, right? This just look at this right here. Here's our LAN A. The dot one twenty eight. You don't give it to anyone. So the dot one. Let's say typically what we do is we give the last IP address to the default gateway. So the default gateway here will be given the IP address 192.168.10.190 with slash 26 as the mask. PCA is going to get the IP address 192.168.10.1, right? The mask slash 26 again, right? And his default gateway is going to be 192.168.10.190. This is his default gateway. PC2 is going to get 192.168.10.1. Not that one, by the way. Oh my God, this is wrong. It's 129, right? Adding a, you adding a one to the 128. That's wrong. I know you must have caught it on the last video. I don't know if you guys caught it or not, but it's 129. Let's fix that in the chart too. Oh, I did. I do it. Did do it right in the chart. It's just I wrote it wrong here. All right. So 129 would be the address that you would give PCA. The mask is slash 27, and the default gateway is 190. For PC2, he's going to get dot 130, right? With a mask of slash 26, and the default gate 190. And if you have another PC, it'll be what? Dot 131, dot 132, all the way to dot 189, and you stop, because 190 is the default gateway. But everybody will have the default gateway of dot 190, right? For the link. Uh, the link we said, we have two addresses, 225 and 226. That's it. So this guy would be dot 226 slash 30, dot 227 slash 30. And you do the same thing for SB. I mean, for land B. All right. Now, what happens if we have uh, a network with less than slash 24? Same procedure happens. So, um, so let's do that. So you look up the chart and slash 22 for 500 hosts. What do we need? 
So you look up the chart and 500 hosts will require slash 23. So slash 23 is equal to 255.255.254.0, right? And 23 minus 22 is equal to 1. And 2 to the power, it's still the same procedure. There's a little bit of a difference you'll see in a second. Is equal to 2 sub nets. All right, let me just bring this down a little bit so this way you'll see it. We're going to be on the same page, right? And let's do the block size. The block size is equal to always 256. Now, minus, now if I go to the last byte, I see a zero, so you can't subtract. So the rule bump now, if you see a zero at the last byte, you have to subtract the, the one next to it which is the third byte in this case, 254. And that's equal to 256 minus 254 is, is what? Two. All right, so the two networks are going to be 1283160, 1283160.0, is it .0? Yes. And the next address is going to be 1283. Now, you add the block size to the third byte because we use the third byte of the mask to calculate the block size. So 160 plus 2 is 162.0. All right, so there's my slash 23 addresses, both of them. All right, the first address is going to be uh, dot one, two, and here's the rule. So because you look at the last byte and you see a zero, this is another exception. You move over and you subtract the one, dot 161, dot always at the end uh, is 254. All right, so there is my LAN A. All right. So this is going to be my LAN A. Now, we can plug this in. So this is going to be 1283.160.0. And let's just put the uh, 1, 1, 1283.160.1, 1283.1. 61.254 and the last address is 1283.161.255 and the slash is 23. Now let's look at B. B requires 100. So 100 needs a slash 25 on the chart. So slash 25 is 255.255.128. Right? 25 minus 23 is 2. And that gives me 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4 subnets. All right? So the block size is equal to 256 minus, in this case, we're back to where we start from the old uh, procedure, 128 is... 128. All right. So let's write the addresses. The first address is 1283.162.0. Next one, you're going to add it to the last byte. 1283.162. Add a 128 to the one. I'm sorry. This is 128 to the zero. You get 128. And the next one is 12. 83 dot now because if I add 128 it'll be 256 so what you need to do in this case is you increment a 1 to the 161 becomes 163.0 and then the last one is 12 dot 83.163.128 all right so that's it plug these into the um the chart these are slash 25s now 
and uh, see if you can do the rest and submit them. The, the two links and networks.